Alrighty, Corey, we have a viewer question today from Big Man Syndrome. He says, what are your thoughts on Red Pill? Well, they're probably talking about Rolo Tomasi's work. He wrote The Rational Mail, which I thought was an interesting book, and I've told people they should read it. But the thing I don't like about that book is that there's not solutions. There's basically women are the problem, modern women are the problem, here's why they suck, and here's why you basically should just pump and dump. You shouldn't get involved with these certain type of women. But there's nothing in there, and none of these guys that I've seen teach anything about communication. They teach nothing about attraction. They teach nothing about courtship. They teach nothing about solving differences or solving their problems. And so what happens is you see a lot of guys that are in bad shape. Maybe they had a difficult divorce and they're not happy after they've gone through the divorce court system in their state or their country. And the outcome of that because of the laws that are very slanted against them. And so they're pretty bitter and pretty upset, understandably. And so they're mad and they're all of us, every human being, we don't want to take blame for our messing up. And the reality is, as a man, you know, as the great Don Shula said, strong men blame themselves. Weak men blame others. And the reality is, as a man, as a king of your kingdom, everything that's going on in your life is there because of your thoughts, your words, your deeds, the tenor of your thoughts, your emotions. In other words, it's a result of your best thinking. So if you married somebody and then it ended in a nasty divorce and it was very expensive, nasty, custody, your best thinking chose to get involved with somebody knowing what the laws are in your state. And in order to absolve themselves from personal responsibility, they're looking for a reason to say, hey, man, it's not your fault. And so when they come across Rolo's work and all the people that have grown up around his work... It just points the finger. Oh, all modern women suck. It's basically the, the constant thing that, that they focus on. And so the guys that get wrapped up in the red pill, oh, I, I understand women's true nature. And they don't take any responsibility for their own actions. They don't try to improve their communication skills or anything about attraction or anything about dating or properly vetting the women that you date. And so it makes it easy to absolve themselves from personal responsibility and they get together in a big club and they share stories of how things went south in their relationships and how all women are horrible. And there's some famous YouTubers that have a lot of women on and they tend to be hookers, sex workers, strippers, women of this nature. And as if this is the dating pool that the majority of guys are getting involved in. And so you've got guys that are frustrated, that are unhappy, that aren't having success with women, or they went through a bad relationship or a bad marriage or a bad divorce or nasty custody fights. I and mean, we see them with the celebrities all the time. It's just horrendous. And it gives them a reason to say, hey, it's not my fault. It's, it's the woman's fault. And then as soon as you say, point the finger and say, it ain't me, it's her fault. All women are like this. You have no control over shaping and changing your destiny. And if you are a man or a woman and you're constantly attracting the same kind of person into your life over and over, they may look different, they may dress different, they may sound different, but at the end of the day, it's like the same pattern, the same kind of behavior, the same kind of toxic behavior. If you're attracting the same people, it's your approach. And the thing I don't like about the red pill community is these, is the guys that I see that come onto my red or my channel from the red pill communities are very negative. They're b very bitter. Like, especially just having you girls on, uh, you know, they're nasty. Just anytime I, no matter who it is, no matter what woman I have on my channel, there's usually several of those red pill guys thinking, Hey, it's an opportunity for me to, to talk shit to the women that Corey has on his YouTube channel. We just, we don't put up with that. Uh, the way I look at it is our community is like an NFL locker room. We're here to take personal responsibility because that's what self-reliance is all about for our own lives and our own choices. And if you want to point the finger and blame everybody else, we don't need you here. You can go where the rest of the negative, weak-ass people are and complain to them and feel good. But the thing I don't like about the red pill community is it just it keeps 
people stuck in this toxic loop. Yeah, I agree with you there. Because I was actually yeah. in the Red Pill stuff myself back in high school. And it was just, I became just very negative and bitter. Yeah, you went through a bad, re- a bad breakup, yeah. a bad relationship. And then so you look for validation for what happened. Hey, it's not my fault. Yeah, exactly. And then it just, coincidentally, I, I didn't improve myself as well as the other women could just kind of pick up. They pick up on the negativity. Yeah. They can feel that and they just kind of stay away. They and don't I feel, feel like safe. That throws you into a loop. Then yep. you're like, it's only reinforced. Oh, that's just reinforcing. Oh, all modern women kind of suck that yeah. kind of Because they notion. don't like them. Yeah. When they interact with women, it's not a pleasant experience because they're giving off that angry, pissed off, frustrated vibe. They don't change any of their behavior. They become more negative. I've done countless emails over the last few years of guys that followed my work, were doing great, and then they got into the red pill community and their success went to shit. It just evaporated. They had no success. Yeah. And then they recognize, even the women that were in their lives, whether it's their sisters or their mothers or their female coworkers, their relationships became strained and they became bitter towards everybody. And then they get back into my work and all that bitterness goes away and then their success returns. And need I remind a lot of people that, you know, me, Chunky, and Caroline are young. So we're learning as we go. And of course, we're young. We have our own perspectives and we know for sure that we have a long way to go. So I think a lot of people often forget that as well. And that's our only way of growing to learn. You know, we're still in our 20s. So we definitely have a long way to go. Yeah, one thing we're not going to do is tolerate people talking shit about myself or my people. It's just not going to happen. I don't need it. There's enough nasty, unhappy people in the world. And there's millions of YouTube channels they can follow. Let them go follow the red pill guys and be angry and blame women. And the rest of us will enjoy our lives. I'd rather they not be a part of the community. If you're not willing to participate in your own rescue, you don't belong here. 